You've been stepped on. You've been hurt. Your spirit has been squashed. You've cried about it. You've prayed to God with every ounce of prayer ability you can muster. You've tried to walk it off. You've tried to work it out. You've probably even tried to eat food or something to cover the pain. Maybe drinking or some other substance has also been utilized. You've been angry. You've been hurt. You've been sad and any other range of emotions in between. But now what? You know, all too often we allow circumstances to plot our course. That course, more appropriately stated, is not a course at all, but rather a lack thereof. Staying put where our circumstances have pushed us is not a course of action, it is a response. The thing is, the enemy of God would love nothing more than for us to respond in a way that serves not only to move us away from God and His will for our lives, but also take a few others along with us. The enemy of God loves it when we are hurt. The enemy of God loves it when we are angry. The enemy of God celebrates when we allow life's circumstances to push us in the opposite direction of God's plan. Jesus prayed a prayer that can sometimes present a struggle for those of us that study the Bible. The prayer is found in Luke 22:42. He knew the time of his death was drawing near, and he prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. At some point, we have to make a decision that God's will matters. His will matters so much that he sent his only son to provide a way. His will seriously ruffles the plans of his enemy, and his enemy fights furiously against that. At some point, we have to make the decision to defiantly thumb our respectful noses at the enemy of God and say, not today, not ever Satan, nice try but you are dealing with a child of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and you've got nothing against that. Does this sound like a plan to anyone else? That's something to pray about, don't you think? Exploring the elements of faith can be a lifelong pursuit. Knowing what questions to ask can be the hard part. If you like what you saw here in this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube or like and follow on my Facebook page. My goal is to have a new video uploaded every week. More importantly, I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts with me about what the video means to you, or if you have a faith question or video suggestion, send me a message about it. I'm not going to tell you that I have all the answers, but I seriously enjoy the exploration process, and especially with others. In addition to YouTube and Facebook, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, or my written blog on Tumblr by searching at Rev Chris Hall. Please feel free to share this video if you think someone else could benefit from it, and thanks for watching.